Hey guys, this is Ricardo with Watch With Us. I'm up here in Boston because we were lucky enough to find an AD with the help of Oris, of course, thank you guys, that has the new Pro Pilot X that they just released. Um, if you're not familiar with the watch, it's a 44 millimeter titanium cased with a titanium bracelet watch, which has a 10 hour power reserve caliber 115 movement inside of it. It's a big release for Oris. It's been all over Instagram. And we were lucky enough to find an AD here in the Northeast who has the watch and are willing to let us come in and film some content of the watch. So I'm on my way to that AD. I want to say thanks, of course, to the AD, which is Lux Bond and Green. You guys are amazing. Thank you for allowing us to do this. And stay tuned with me as I show you some more shots of the watch. So you're probably looking at this video and you're wondering, okay, what is Ricardo doing? Um, this is actually me. I'm inside of, well, of course it's me. I'm inside of the Aura's virtual reality setup that they created for the Pro Pilot X. It's this amazing virtual reality tour of the watch from the inside. And it's, it's the best way to describe it is imagine you're a very small ant and you're looking around the watch from the inside. So you're looking at the barrel, you're looking at the gears, you're looking at the pallet forks as they're, go, as they're going back and forth in action. And, and literally it feels like you'd reach out and touch them. Imagine a pallet fork that's about five times your size and you're just watching it click away as it's, it's going back and forth. And this is just, it was a cool experience. Um, whoever at Oris came up with the idea of doing this, bravo, because it was just an amazing extra to add to the reveal of this watch. Now, I also, of course, the main thing I went there for was to get some really nice shots of the watch um, so you guys could kind of get to see more of the intricate pieces and parts of the watch. Um, it's a beautiful watch. Um, it wears, I'd have to say for my seven and a half inch wrist, it actually wears pretty well. Um, I could understand if someone has a smaller wrist, maybe it's a little too big for them. I definitely understand that. But I think as a first watch, this first kind of release for Oris in terms of this type of watch, I think it's a great move. Of course, it's also a pilot watch, so you kind of have to understand their thoughts behind the sizing. Um, the color is perfect. The gray, it just it, it's it's this matte gray that's just, it, it just works with the watch. Um, it's definitely not one of those watches <laughs> that uh, you're gonna baby. This looks like a watch that was built to be rough and tough and tumbled all over the place. Uh, I mean, the, the, the whole watch just screams I'm here for business, um, get out my way <laughs> or else I'll push you out the way. But it's just, it's just a cool watch in that, in that regard. Uh, another thing I really liked about the watch was it's really thin. Um, it's actually, I, I took a, some shots of the watch next to my Tudor Black Bay Steel. And though it wears larger than the Tudor, it actually fits a little bit better because it's thinner than the Tudor. And it's, it's, it's actually really nice on the wrist. Um, another cool thing about this watch is, I know recently we've had some uh, all titanium watch, well, a all titanium watch released, which I could only imagine is super, super light and almost feels like it's not there on the wrist. The cool thing about this is you get that lightness of the bracelet and the case but there's just enough weight in the watch head that just, I don't know, it's, it's comforting on the wrist. It, you feel it there. It's light, but it's not gone into thin air light, which is cool about the watch. Um, and finally, just overall, the watch just, uh, the skeletonization of the watch, if that's even a word, is just so cool. 
um, it, the way that they show certain aspects of the watch, the way that they go from from the gray to some of the polished and some of the non-polished surfaces is just really cool. It's a, it's a great way of doing things. Of course, you guys should know me by now. I wish there was a date on the watch, but I completely understand why there isn't. I mean, if you stick a date wheel on this thing, it blocks out all that nice skeletonization that you worked for. Um, though, with that being said, I'd love to see this watch, one, released down the line in maybe a 41 or even a 42 millimeter case. Um, I'd love if they did a titanium dial with a big date. I think this type of watch, it would kind of work um, just running through my mind. Uh, but overall, I think as a first watch, I think this was a great release for Oris as like the first you know, big watch in this kind of family. Uh, they really, the, the release was done really well. It was all over the place. And they also got the watch into the hands of a lot of reviewers and big content guys on YouTube. I mean, Horology House, you saw that he got the watch. And you have to appreciate that about the Oris brand. They really do sit there and they want to get the brand out there. And they, they're willing to work with everybody, which is so cool about the brand. Is it something, and it's also something I wish a lot of other brands did as well um, because we're all out there we're all on Instagram we're all on Facebook um, there's some of us creating some amazing content and Oris just dives in and they really just say here here's something that we just spent years working on what do you guys think uh, you know just tell us and you have to appreciate that about the brand so with that being said when you take all of that into when you when you take it all in honestly i believe this was just a great release for us and i hope you guys enjoy the content if you guys have any comments or want to know anything more about uh, the time we spent with the watch or have any questions comment section right below but um i hope you guys enjoyed it once again and see you guys soon bye guys